London and he would forever go off to his uncle's house and get good Indian food <laughs> and when you're that young and you're struggling for a, an Indian meal I'm going back way back maybe 89, 88, 89 or, or 90 maybe Go to England, go to South Africa, go to West Indies you would want Rahul Dravid to back for your life and we were fortunate that we had him at number 3 I first met Rahul in 1989, if I'm not wrong, with Kailash Khatani, you know, my second year on the trip and it was Rahul's first year. Uh, it was a fantastic trip for all of us, you know, young boys out of school who used to go to London, my second time in London, the first time was the year before with Sachin and then uh, was on the trip uh, and that's when I saw young Rahul Dravid, he got a magnificent hundred on a tough wicket in, in somewhere close to Scotland, I can't remember the place. And I remember meeting him um, uh, for the first time there, he was, he was already quite a little bit of a well-known name in, in, in sort of junior cricket because he'd, he'd done quite well. I think the next time I saw him was Ranji Trophy. Ranji Trophy in 1991, to, to be precise, yes, 1991, the year we went on to win the Ranji Trophy and, and his debut for Karnataka against us, he got a 100 on debut for Karnataka. I also got runs in that game, I got an 80. I just played a few games before that, so that's when I first met the young man and I, uh, same boyish face, young boy, very intense, you could see Rahul Dravid and, and, and that's where he is now, now on a fantastic cricketer for India. When the opportunity came in, he batted at three and I batted at I think it's seven in that game. Uh, so I had a long time to watch actually him bat <laughs> and bat very well actually. I was too engrossed in my performance to be honest. When when he came into bat, I was already I think 70 odd batting. You did feel really nice for him um, that he was uh, you know he got that hundred and and from my side I was like wow you know I have a chance to now you know make it count so even after he got out I sort of used it a little bit as a motivation and an inspiration I remember my my 100 scoring shot which was a cover drive through point and he was at the non strike is in uh, I finished the day uh, at 131 I got out uh, an hour after tea and he, then he, and he carried on he came back the next morning and got 95 you know I was standing at the lord's balcony that day and hoping that he would get 100 you know seen him play at the under nine, under 15s I think under 15 levels then Ranji trophy together I've seen him his debut at Eden Gardens and then seeing his debut at lords so I've watched his career closely so it would have been great if we both would have got hundreds that day That's the first time I went to Taunton, a beautiful looking ground in Somerset, just outside outside the English countryside. It's just one of those days when things are going really well for you. And I actually outscored sort of for a large part of it early on and then he kind of caught up and, and you know he really capitalized on the spinners later on. You know, Ramesh got out I think in the first or second over. So I think he was zero for one or two for one and then 320 when Rahul got out. So uh, it must have been a tough time for Anatunga and Narobin the Silva. They tried everything. And I'm pulling into the pads, uh, using the short ball, and we just kept hammering it. Quick outfield, flat padding pitch, and we just macked it on a Saturday. I don't think we thought about the record or we thought about the runs. And you know, we just played and, and we kept going. And he kept challenging me, he kept pushing me. I remember saying, "Hey, you're going really well. Keep going. Keep, you know, keep playing your shots if if the ball is there." And, and that's what I did. I just initially I just kept playing and I pulled it back a little bit, and and then you know he sort of took over. But it was nice to have that partnership, and you know, we had a couple in. in but that's obviously one that's really special. He's now become a big time administrator now, so he's a big shot, so he doesn't have much time for me. <laughs> you know, life's changed. Uh, we've all just backed off a bit. Uh, he's still involved heavily into the coaching part of the game. I'm not. Uh, don't meet much often, but uh, you know, whenever we meet, wherever we meet, we make sure we have a dinner together. Went to his house a few times after that. We do catch up when, when we can, as in when we can. It's always good fun, it's always a good laugh, it's a good chat. He's, uh, he's always got uh, some interesting stuff to say. The wall, as they say. Whatever he did, give everything he had. I think that's very, very, very important. Uh, same round, Ravid, you know. 
he enjoys working with the under 19s uh, wants to give back to the game and i think these young boys are absolutely uh, in a fantastic position to have him as their coach at such a young age of their careers